had basically been alone all my whole life. I thought school was kind of rough. You know, kids are mean. They used to call me things like rodent. I don't want to know what they called you. It was probably awful. Anyway, I guess I always fit in in the woods, better than among my peers. We all say we want to be special, but in the end we settle for feeling safe. And I guess I'm alright with that. Or I was. Hey, little guy. Alright, stand still. You're a part-time nanny, you're a part-time student, and you're a full-time spaz. Maybe you need to take some time off. Let's lay down some ground rules. You store your nuts outside. Nothing goes in the wash except laundry. And if you're going to live in this house, you're going to use the toilet. Are we clear? Mom? Hey, honey, I got your voicemail. Yes, um, is there anything medically important that I should know about? Well, I mean, you're always healthy. And when you were a little baby, you had that little vestigial tail. Would you consider that important? Yes, Mom, I think the fact that I had a tail will be considered important. I can talk to squirrels. I can talk to squirrels, too. The problem is when they start to talk Are the squirrels talking to you? Not technically. In English? When I said I wanted to be special, this is not what I had in mind. Maybe your kind of special is the kind that we need. Maybe I got this gift for a reason. Maybe I can make a difference. Stop! You gonna stop me? No, my friends are. Who are your friends? Squirrels. Yeah, okay. Who are you? Squirrel girl. Uh, is it just squirrels or is it other vermin too? I think the fact that that's what you're choosing to focus on speaks volumes about your priority. 